We would like to welcome our dearest viewers via Noorsat and Telemir TV. On the occasion of the Noble Prophet's birthday, Noorsat Jordan's office, represented by its director, Dr. Basim al Sam'an, and the team, extends its warmest congratulations and best wishes to His Majesty the King Abdullah II, bin al Hussein, and to the Jordanian family as one. We pray to Almighty God to repeat this blessed occasion for our wise Hashemite leadership and our Jordanian people with goodness and blessing. May our beloved Jordan remain proud and steadfast, serving an oasis of security and stability under its blessed leadership. Wishing everyone a prosperous new year, and we begin with the following headlines. Pope Francis, let us face challenges united and create a mosaic of peace together. His Majesty the King, protecting Jerusalem as a city of peace is a responsibility that concerns all countries. Patriarch Pizzabella, Pope Francis' decision to grant me the cardinal rank confirms the importance of the city of Jerusalem in the Christian world. Welcome back. Pope Francis concluded his apostolic visit to Marseille, where he was warmly welcomed by a large crowd of thousands of people from various backgrounds. During his visit, His Holiness delivered a message in which he said, As believers, we must be examples of mutual and fraternal hospitality, as relationships between religious groups are often not easy, especially in the face of ideological extremism that corrodes the true life of communities. He added, No one should harbor hatred in their heart for their neighbor, for a person who hates cannot stand before God calmly. As long as there is anger in one's heart, God will not listen to their prayers. The Supreme Pontiff concluded his speech by saying, Let us face challenges united and not let hope drown. Let us together create a mosaic of peace. We must also soften our hearts and make them sensitive to their pains and hardship of others. Let us pray to God to grant us the spirit of mercy, which is His Spirit. King Abdullah II stated that more than 345 million people around the world face the danger of hunger and food insecurity. He emphasized that among the most vulnerable groups are refugees who have been forcibly displaced from their homes and left behind the lives they were accustomed to. Speaking at the United Nations General Assembly in New York, His Majesty pointed out that the refugees in Jordan constitute more than a third of the population. The reduction in support for them has plunged thousands into a vortex of danger and uncertainty. He also noted that the future of Syrian refugees lies in their homeland, not in host countries. However, until they can return to their homes, it is our collective responsibility to do right by them. Regarding Jerusalem, King Abdullah II stated that the holy city remains a source of concern and under the Hashemite custodianship of Islamic and Christian holy sites, Jordan continues its commitment to preserving the identity of the city. He emphasized that the responsibility of protecting Jerusalem as a city of faith and peace for followers of various religions falls on all countries of the world. Secretary General, Excellencies, when human catastrophes seem beyond description, we turn to the appalling statistics. This year around the world, more than 345 million people face food insecurity, daily hunger, or starvation. Among the most vulnerable are 108 million refugees, people who have been forcibly displaced from their homes and ways of life. And 40% of these refugees are children, the most defenseless of all. Yet these numbers cannot really convey the tragedy or the failure. Refugees are our brothers, our sisters. They look to our countries to help end the crises that have driven them from home. His Eminence, Cardinal Pierre Battista Pizzabella, the Patriarch of Jerusalem for the Latins, confirmed the role of the Hashemite custodianship over the Christian and Islamic holy sites in the holy city of Jerusalem. He also emphasized the vital and historical role of His Majesty King Abdullah II as a compelling and honorable force in safeguarding the rights of Jerusalem and its believers. These remarks were made during a dialogue with His Eminence at the Latin Patriarchate as part of the Eye on Jerusalem program presented by Jordanian Television. The program also featured comments from His Excellency Bishop Jamal Khadr, the Deputy Patriarchal Vicar for the Latins in Jordan, who elaborated on His Eminence's appointment as a Cardinal by Pope Francis. He explained that this appointment shows the significance of Jerusalem in the Christian world and its impact on the Christian Church and community. 
Cardinal Pierre Battista Pizzabella held a press conference at the Latin Patriarchate in Jerusalem, during which he announced that a significant celebration would take place on the 30th of September in the Catholic Church at the Basilica of St. Peter in Rome. This celebration would be presided over by His Holiness Pope Francis to officially declare his appointment as a cardinal. His Eminence expressed his joy and happiness during the conference regarding this occasion. Furthermore, celebrations for this event will also be held at a later time in Amman, Jerusalem, Bethlehem, Bethlehem, Nazareth, and Cyprus. The Greek Orthodox Patriarchate in the Church of the Nativity of the Virgin Mary in the city of Sakhnin, Akka district, celebrated the Feast of the Nativity of the Mother of God, Perpetual Virginity of Mary. The festive divine liturgy was presided over by His Beatitude Kyrios Theophilus III, attended by several priests and deacons. Many parishioners, community leaders, municipal figures, and social personalities also participated in the celebration. Following the liturgy, a procession around the church was held three times, and then His Beatitude honored Mr. Elias Rantus with the Order of the Knights of the Holy Sepulchre in recognition of his contribution to the church, both in its spiritual and social aspects. Bishop Christopher Atalla presided over the Divine Liturgy at the Monastery Church of the Birth of the Virgin Mary on the occasion of the Feast of the Nativity of Our Lady, the patron saint of the Church. At the end of the service, His Grace extended his greetings to the Church's pastor, Father Elias, and all parishioners on this holy occasion, praying for the Lord to protect this Church and our Holy Land from all harm throughout the intercession of the Mother of God. Following this, Bishop Christophorus honored Mr. Dawood al jada and Mr. George Habib, who have provided distinguished services to the church. After the service, everyone gathered in the church hall to share in love feast. The service was assisted by several priests and deacons and was attended by Mother Irina, the abbess of the Virgin Mary's Spring Monastery in Dibin, along with her sister and some parishioners. As part of the celebrations of STC College in Amman on its Diamonds Jubilee anniversary, in an atmosphere filled with joy and happiness, the Peace and Goodness initiative was launched and inaugurated. This initiative represents the motto of the college, reflecting the spirituality of St. Francis of Assisi and the Franciscan Order. The ceremony took place at the Martyrs' School in Lwebde under the patronage of Father Rashid Mistrih, the General Director of STC College. Dr. Jamal al hanawi the Director of Education in Amman, also attended, along with the school's administration. The event marked the culmination of activities and events held throughout the year, with the participation of college students, teachers, parents, and students. The initiative involved providing the necessary educational tools and resources for the school. The celebration program included speeches by the directors of Teresanta College and the Director of Education in Amman, where they expressed their pride in the achievements of the Martyrs' School. They prayed to God for His heavenly blessing to shower upon everyone. Additionally, there was a cultural performance by students along with the Teresanta Scouts. In the end, everyone exchanged congratulations in celebration of this joyful occasion. Under the patronage of His Excellency Mr. Radin Tawfiq Qawar and with the blessing of His Grace Bishop Christophorus Atalla, the Orthodox Club in Amman organized a solemn religious celebration on the occasion of the exaltation of the Honorable Cross under the slogan, The Cross Guards All of Ecumenism. The event was attended by a large gathering of officials, religious and community figures from various regions of Jordan and the Kingdom. At the beginning of the celebration, a group of Orthodox Scouts from Amman played the Royal Anthem after an impressive scouting entrance. Speeches were delivered which expressed the joy of everyone on this blessed occasion, considering it a triumph for the Universal Church. The speakers also praised Jordan's leadership and its people for their support of Christian and Islamic holy sites in the Holy Land and for preserving the Christian presence in the region. At the end of the ceremony, prayers were offered for pomegranate seeds and a spectacular final scene included the lighting of a fire. Minister of Culture Haifa Najjar inaugurated the Oman International Book Fair, which was held this year with the participation of 400 local Arab and international publishing houses, including the Holy Bible House. The exhibition, which lasted for 10 days and included the participation of 22 countries, was held under the slogan, Jerusalem, the capital of Palestine, emphasizing the significance of Jerusalem in the consciousness of the Hashemite kingdom and reaffirming the Hashemite custodianship over Islamic and Christian sanctities. The exhibition's management allocated a specific area for children to provide them with the cultural activities as part of the program. Additionally, the book fair celebrated the historian and academic Dr. Hind Abu Sha'ar as the cultural personality for the exhibition in recognition of her contributions in the field of modern and contemporary Jordanian history, particularly 
and historical studies. A spiritual and guidance session was held in the Saints Constantine and Helen Hall at the Abdali Cathedral, attended by approximately 50 people from the Qattab community as part of the 19th session of the program Khatimain ala Sakhrit al Rabb. The session was attended by His Eminence the Economist Irenius Mdanat, head of the Office of Marriage and the Christian Family House, and the Councillor Samar Tadros. The discussion focused on the importance and role of parents in supporting and assisting their children who are about to get married in their new lives. They were encouraged to engage in a genuine acquaintanceship and open communication during the engagement period. Most importantly, parents were advised to offer guidance and counsel to their children after marriage without interfering in their personal matters. Professor Dr. Antoine Massara, a member of the Constitutional Council in Lebanon and the Chair of UNESCO for Comparative Religious Studies at St. Joseph's University in Beirut, visited the regional office of Nursat TV in Amman, Jordan. He was accompanied by Father Nabil Haddad during the visit. The office's director, Dr. Basim Samaan, provided the guest and the accompanying delegation with a detailed explanation of the office's activities and comprehensive coverage of various regions in the kingdom. Father Nabil Haddad also explained to the guests the importance of the message delivered by Nursat in the Holy Land, Jordan and Palestine and worldwide. The meeting was attended by Ms. Mary Shkir and Mr. Ralph from Nursat's office in Lebanon. It is worth noting that Dr. Masara, who holds several advanced academic degrees, currently works as a professor at the Lebanese University and St. Joseph's University in Beirut. He also serves as a visiting professor at several universities in Germany, Italy, Canada and Switzerland. We have reached the end of our broadcast, dear viewers. Before we conclude, here's a recap of the highlights covered herein. Pope Francis, let us face challenges united and create a mosaic of peace together. His Majesty the King, protecting Jerusalem as a city of peace is a responsibility that concerns all countries. Patriarch Pizzabella, Pope Francis's decision to grant me the cardinal rank confirms the importance of the city of Jerusalem in the Christian world. For more details, please visit our website, nursakjo.org. Thank you for watching, wishing you a pleasant day, and hope to see you again.